Hello everyone, this is she Miss Nobundu and you are watching my channel. Welcome back again and if it's your first time, welcome. Thank you for coming by to stop and see what I've uploaded. Today what I'm here to talk about is bullying and particularly adult bullying that's why i called it bullying extra because seldom do we hear conversations about being bullied in adulthood and it's the same really as bullying or the bully as a child the child who's a bully comes from a home where he feels no sense of security, feels no sense of respect or power. So he goes in and he's put in a powerless position every day at home. So what he does in order to gain his power back and gain his human dignity back is that he goes into the school uh, environment and tries to get his power back by literally um, bullying other children. and 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 being this towering presence over other children because at home that's what he experiences either from his mother or from his father or from the environment at, ho at home is that there's this towering disempowering oppressive presence and so he wants to get his dignity back she wants to get her power back so they find an environment where they can imitate the very same thing that they're experiencing at home, that they're seeing their parents do over them, and they know that, okay, I can get power this way. I can be in, in power and in control in this way. What is being, essentially what is being uh, modeled at home, they go out into the world and they do. And it is the same with adult bullies or similar in that, a lot of people are in workplaces or in dynamics in their families where they are powerless. A single woman with children that has to live with their mother, uh, a man who lost their wife and decided that they're going to, um, you know, remarry again, or someone who's chosen the wrong career path and feels dead inside because they're not interested in what they're doing, but it brings in the money, covers the bills, but they know that this is not where I'm supposed to be. That person feels powerless. So what do they do? Is that because there is this, this environment, this context where they are very powerless and they cannot do anything about it, they go into the workplace and they create dysfunction by being bullies over other colleagues. And this is their way of gaining power back a sense of dignity back is that they now want to be overbearing towards someone else. If, you're, if someone at home is being abused by their husband or their wife or their parents who are always towering over them and intervening into their lives, they're going to go into the world, into the workplace and imitate that in order to get their power back, to get their sense of, I'm an adult, to get their sense of dignity back. And they're going to bully other adults using the very same tactics that make them feel powerless. And we seldom really talk about adult bullying, but really it's just like, if it's not nipped in the bud in childhood, a child bully grows up to be an adult bully that person who feels powerless and uses the very same tactics that are used over them in the home when they are a child is going to now grow up as an adult and use those very same tactics in order to to be to hold power over other people in in order to bully other people around the very same tactics that are being used on them to bully them around they're going to grow up and use them as well because the lesson that they're learning is that oh okay when i treat people in this way when i'm overbearing when i'm condescending when i want always my word to be last and, and everyone's word to be behind my last word, then I'm in power. If that's what they taught power is, then the, that's what a person goes out into the world and imitates and emulates as a power dynamic in relation to other people. And I just wanted to speak on adult bullying and that adult bullies 
are truly people who are disempowered somehow, somewhere in their lives, in their personal lives, in their professional lives, in the choices that they have made, they feel disempowered. And so in order to feel empowered, to get a sense of dignity, to get a sense of there is a purpose for me, they they go they go about it in a dysfunctional way they go about it in a perverted way to gain their authentic power back by exerting this power over someone else bullying them pushing trying to push another adult around trying to bully another adult around trying to tell another adult what to do and not realizing that oh i'm this is another adult we're in the same league i cannot try to exert a power over them because we're in the same league with the same person and this person is probably going to speak back or push back to what i'm doing they don't care what is going on with that person is that they they're more concerned with feeling a sense of power of regaining their power back that they've lost in whatever context or situation in their lives and they're going about it in a way that is unhealthy in a way that is dysfunctional in a way that is truly um in a way that is has a a, a is a perverted understanding on, on how to gain back your power how you gain back your power is stand up against the thing that is oppressing you and bullying you how you gain back your authentic power is okay i've made the wrong choice career wise let me stop and stop being afraid and change course right now and make better decisions going forward that that lead me back into the course that is in my heart um okay i'm in an abusive relationship at home let me make the decision to leave instead of okay i'm being abused at home and i don't have power but i'm going to go out there in the world and abuse other people i as a hurt person am now going to go out into the world and hurt other people because i am not facing and doing whatever or taking whatever steps i need to take in order to be free of feeling powerless so there's ways of regaining your authentic power back and it's not bullying someone else. It's not going about being condescending and sabotaging other people's progress because you feel like, well, my progress was cut off by having a baby with a man, three babies with a man who left me. I know that you're hearing me mention the word power a lot. And it's because bullying is a power dynamic. It's a dynamic where one person feels powerless in their own personal private context and they go out into the world and then they find someone to victimize and create a power dynamic whereby they are the towering giant over this little David, over this little person that they, they think is a little person and they, they over this target that they think is powerless, that they think cannot stand up against them, and then they push that person around. That's what that power dynamic of a bully and their victim is, or their chosen target, because that, I, I don't want to say victim, I will, I will say they are chosen target, they are chosen prey. It's a power dynamic because that bully at home is in the very same dynamic themselves. Someone is towering over them, and they are a victim and someone is pushing them around and someone is bullying them around, someone is abusing them, someone is making them feel small. So they go right out into the world and imitate the very same thing that's happening in their private lives. I don't know who it is that I'm talking to, but if you are being bullied and if you are being pushed around, I want to tell you this, that a bully cannot kill you, cannot hurt you. A bully is full of empty threats and what you need to learn to do is to not be afraid of their countenance, their face, their towering figure that they are trying to um, place the stance off over you. You need to not be afraid. Instead, challenge them and see if they will do exactly what it is that they threaten you with. And if they do, fine. God is watching. Everyone reaps what they sow. It's a law 
of the universe that God has placed into place that everyone reaps what they sow. So you do not have to be thinking about being humiliated by a bully. Fine. If they, they succeed in doing whatever they're doing to you, fine. You have planted a different seed. You have not retaliated with bullying. You have stuck by your standards. You have stuck by your morals and values. And which say, I'm not going to push other people around. No matter what, no matter what they are doing to me. The only thing I'm going to do is stand up against them and speak my truth. And if they hit me, that's their seed and they're going to reap that's the, the harvest from that seed. I must take care of my harvest. Um, and to the bullies, I would want to say, choose to heal. Choose to heal, choose something different. Bullying is played out. It doesn't solve your problem. It only perpetuates it from generation to generation to generation, from day to day to day of your existence. You stay miserable and you can choose something else for yourself that I can change the, the powerlessness that I feel. I can change the smallness that I feel. I can change the inadequacy that I feel. Let me work on that. And you change your story and your story becomes something else and your legacy becomes something else what people will say about you becomes something else and not that person was a bully and try to bully other adults in their adulthood while they were an adult that person was a bully as a child and they grew up and, and they were a bully even in adulthood you can change your story but you have to change it by changing your actions, by changing your course. I also want to add that bullying is a form of evil and you always tell on evil. So always tell when someone is bullying you. Always tell on them. Never leave them to get away with it and shroud it in the dark and keep their dirty secret that they are bullying you. Always tell on the bully always bring what they are doing to you in some corner somewhere wrapping you around bring it to the light so that people know about it because it is a form of evil it is a form of craft where someone is crafting against you it is crafting so that they're going to now do something mean to you but they're going to catch you when no one is watching so tell on it and that disempowers bullying, that nips it in the bud, but you not telling on it magnifies it because then they keep getting away with something that they're doing that should be known about publicly. Always tell on bullying, always tell on evil, always shout it from the hilltops and see what happens. What I know is that it always scurries away with its tail between its legs and it stops. I love you. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with as many people as you want to. I want to reach out to the people that are being bullied as adults and in as children that are being bullied right now. And I want to tell you that you have nothing to be afraid of. Both people can be healed. Both the, the person who's being bullied can be healed by continuing to stand up for themselves. And the person who is bullying can be healed by deciding that they're not going to be controlled by this energy that says bully other people and you're going to heal. Because the truth is, it doesn't heal you. It only makes you even worse. Thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed and be blessed. And I will see you again next time.